today um, let's look at the uh, stocks price prediction using the time series series um, such as a RIMA model and naive model and also we will interface it with the shiny apps in R Studio and trying to give you some idea how to display uh, the time series and how to uh, change the duration of the uh, time series uh, plot as well as how many uh, days you you can change uh, in the interface or the dashboard to uh, change the uh, pre, uh, the days you want to uh, predict ahead of the uh, time series. There are two three models available in this uh, module. Uh, naive method, just for the average method, uh, Arima as well as the simplified version of the neural network predictions. These uh, three models are all from the FPP2 library and it is a very convenient uh, combined together with the Shani apps. Well, let me run the R Studio. I already open the apps and um, trying, trying to run apps in the uh, R Studio so uh, you can uh, view how this works. First, uh, you have to load the um, Shining library, then that's the uh, user interface uh, defines what do you want to display and how the uh, how the uh, widgets or the uh, the parameters you want to change uh, these all uh, are defined within the user interface or the UI it's like an API uh, uh, fashion so uh, this is a template uh, uh, we're going to use it today. Another version will be have a two files. One is for UI, the other is for the server, where all the calculations, the data manipulations, a model, and then the results, um, uh, all these calculations are carried out within this server. So this one, um, this one, kind of the last sentence, kind of a combined the user interface and the server together. So this one, um, I download the the stocks, the data first, and from the uh, Yahoo, and then uh, put in a uh, a working directory uh, to make sure uh, these need to be uh, put into the same directory as your uh, your file or you have to specify what's the uh, where is the folder and the and the connected data uh, correctly well let me show you uh, the results uh, of these apps and then we will uh, um, start to learn maybe in the future how to improve it. So that's uh, on this right side of the uh, interface. It display the, st the train uh, first. At the bottom of the, uh, the plot, there is another one. And not only show the uh, original time series, but give you a prediction 
um, I believe here it's 10 days ahead. We can change from a naive method to Arima, then it will automatically update the uh, uh, the prediction curves on the right side of the panel. Then we can also use a neutral neural network. Um, you see how similar it is to the na naive method, but this looks like this a neural network uh, network method does not give the uh, in, uh, confidence intervals around this uh, predicted line, which is a mean value. So we can also change the display this, uh, where it should start to display. Let's move to the beginning. Uh, so that's the time, uh, the, the, the time it's going to display. Uh, it's more than 250 uh, a day's data. And we can also change how many days it can um, predict. Uh, 10 days actually are uh, two uh, working weeks. So if we change it to five, and then it will uh, update this uh, graph automatically. And then let's also change where uh, it displays, let's change it from a 200. So uh, this one is to kind of a, give you the overall idea. Ideally, uh, I should update the lower part of the, uh, the panel to follow or synchro synchronize with the, um, the top, uh, top graphs. Well, I think that's all for today. I will put the link uh, to, uh, to the code as well as the, uh, the files uh, for this uh, stocks data. Uh, thank you very much for watching this. Bye-bye.